Hey everyone, this is Alex Corey with Values Quest, and I'm bringing you the next video in my series on personal financial planning. So far throughout the videos, we've talked about cash flow and budgeting, getting rid of debt, unnecessary debt that you have on your books, investments and 401k planning. But the next thing we're going to talk about is insurance planning and making sure that you have enough coverage to protect against potential financial catastrophes in your life that could devastate you and your family. In particular, lately, I've seen a lot of videos or posts online about people that have prematurely died. And not knowing everything about their situation, of course, it gets me really thinking about, you know, do I have even have enough protection for my family if I was to pass away too soon, and vice versa for my, my wife? Today, 41% of Americans don't actually have any type of life insurance. And of course, this can really vary in regards to your current situation. So if you're someone that's single, it doesn't have any one that relies on you for income, say like children or a spouse or partner, life insurance may not be that big of an issue. But if you do have a family, if you do have children, a wife, a husband, a partner, or whatever have you, this could be a very, very crucial role in your long-term financial planning. And you see up there, I wrote down uh, GoFundMe versus life insurance. And I make a little bit light of it, but not really. Recently, I had seen a couple posts online in regards to some families that had started GoFundMe accounts for someone in their lives that had died too soon. And these families were trying to raise $100,000 or $15,000 just to pay for someone's funeral. And even $100,000 isn't that much money when you really think about it if you die too soon. Think, look at your life today. People are spending upwards of fifty dollars to $100,000 a year. So really, even trying to raise that much money is really unrealistic. And you think about, well, what benefits may you have available through your employer today in which you should be reassessing how much life insurance you need in regards to if you were to die too soon, how much does your family really need? But beyond just the life insurance, we also wanna look at other areas of your life as well that really need to have full protection in place in order to make sure that you can replace a home if it were to burn down, or the contents in your home, or a car as well. Health insurance is really a big deal, and I know that premiums have been going up every year or so, deductibles are high, and it sometimes doesn't feel as if those things can pay off, but I'll tell you that even in my own situation in 2018, my wife had to go to the emergency room twice, and those bills were upwards of fifteen dollars to $20,000 just for the year. But luckily, we only had to really pay a fraction of that because of the health insurance we had in place to protect against those catastrophe events. Um, so what are the things we want to take a look at? You know, having too much insurance means that uh, you're paying too much and it's going to cost too much in the long run. And having too little, like we just talked about, means that you're just not going to have enough of a lump sum of some type of benefit that your family or someone else can use if they need that money instead. But you should always be reviewing these at least every couple of years, especially when your life needs change. Again, as you get married, if you have children, if someone passes away, update your records all the time to make sure that you are carrying the appropriate amount of insurance across all of your potential liabilities. So what do you want to do? Number one, take inventory of what you have today. What life insurance policies do you have? What uh, home insurance, what auto insurance do you have? Are those the right types of benefits that you can have if something were to happen uh, accidentally? And then if you don't have the right coverage, update it. That may mean bring it down in coverage or taking it up, but either way, having the right amount of insurance in any part of your life is gonna really save you and your family a lot of money and a lot of financial heartache in the long run. So I really take this one to heart. Um, I hope this was a beneficial video. If you have any questions about life insurance, health insurance, or any other types of insurance, I'm happy to talk to you. Uh, we can talk about your personal situation and see where it fits in your life today. Again, thanks for your time and have a great day.